Hello everybody and welcome back. I'm Dash Brandon. and today I'm going to talk about all of the new weapons, uh, the overclocks that I have for them, the ones I've tried, uh, some misconceptions that I had about uh, the weapons when I first saw them. Oh geez, it was over a month ago now. That was the beginning of November this came out. Alright, so we're going to start with Engineer. Um, I'm going to tell you right off the bat, the two... The two weapons I was most excited about were the Engineer and the Scout. That's what we're going to start with. So, the Engineer, the Lock 1 Smart Rifle. This is the build that I've pretty much gone with since day one. Uh, I've got a couple of overclocks, overclocks for it. I've got uh, Executioner. I've got Explosive Chemical Rounds, which might, might be the play. Um... The only thing I don't like is doing lower damage. And then uh, Neuro Lasso, which will slow him down when you're locked on. Um, the one thing that I really need to tell you about the lock one is that it's it's a high, high skill gap uh, type of weapon. When you lock on, uh, say to like a Praetorian or something that you're trying to shoot in the butt, you gotta like work your little laser around so that it's actually going to shoot them in the butt. Um, it's a very high skill gap weapon. If you're not hitting the weak, spot, weak spots, you're not gonna do that much damage. Uh, I did go with this electrical, uh, electric generator mod um, so that you have a chance to electrify them after you pass a certain threshold. Um, and then, you know, making the weapon smarter with the smart targeting software so you waste less ammo on over damage on something. Um, and then I was going to go with more ammo, but really I was I was so sad about the damage that I just had to go more damage on tier one. Um, and I like the electric field. Uh, it, it gives them a damage over time and a debuff that your uh, allies can also deal damage off of uh depending on what builds they're running uh with this so this is basically your single target uh gun which means that your secondary becomes your uh ag clear your aoe clear so we just leaned we leaned far into this for now uh fat boy i know some people don't like fat boy i really just find it fun uh, I usually r run has three and has four missions. Very rarely do I do has five right now. Um, I've only been, you know, dumping like 130 hours or something like that into this since season one started, you know, no big deal. Uh, <laughs> I'm just having a lot of fun and fat boy definitely lets you have a lot of fun. I went for both of the, uh, expanded ammo bags so I could get one more shot um, for each of those at full ammo. Uh, an area damage or area of effect uh, increase is not a bad idea if you're going to be going with that boy. You can make it really big, but you could also only have three ammo. So there's that. Uh, you got to be a little bit more conservative uh, with how you use it and how much damage you're trying to do with it. And you got to remember what you're trying to use it on. I'm trying to use it to clear... Uh, large groups of enemies and not so much the lock one the lock one is a lot of fun um, to shoot a lot of different enemies at the same time uh, but we're mostly trying to use it to take down the bigger targets here I also run proximity mine um, I've been running it for a while just because I really enjoy it but lure is not bad either uh, plasma burster I've never been sold on that one Next, we're gonna talk about the Drac 25 with the Scout. What's there to say about the Drac 25? It does more than your deep core does um, as far as damage, but you don't have to worry about reload because you just have to wait for it to cool off if you overheat. So I leaned into cooling faster, building less heat um, as we go. Um, we've got the impact deflection, so projectiles are bouncy. This can help you a lot with your groups of enemies, which the scout has really struggled with um, in taking out groups of enemies. So 
We went with bouncy rounds here for that. Um, I do like the thermal liquid coolant as well, just so you can cool it down faster and get back to shooting faster. Um, overheating, cool down after overheating returns some ammo. Not a terrible idea. You have less ammo to start with though, and slower overheat recovery. And then the thermal exhaust feedback. <laughs> There's a lot of words there. But basically it adds fire damage to your shots and uh, lowers your overheat duration, or adds up to your overheat duration. And um, yeah, it's, it's all right, I guess. If you want to light things on fire. I don't always want to light stuff on fire though. Um, we are going with the Zukov here. Um, we're using minimal magazines right now. We might change over to cryo minelets just because I haven't really, I haven't really gone into those yet, and I just kind of want to try them. Um, oh god, what to say about the Zukov? Um, you're gonna use it when your other gun is cooling down. That's pretty much the main. That's the main reason that you're gonna switch to this weapon. Getting the weapon or movement speed boost upon emptying your clip is not a bad idea, and more ammo is something that I've found a lot of help in the has four and has five missions. The few times I've gone into five, I switched from the IFG uh, that creates the electric field to a cryo grenade because cryo grenade lets you uh, clutch up a lot better. Uh, say everyone's gone down and you need to save someone, you can throw a cryo grenade and get a res off and leave before they unfreeze. Especially if you're not running Beastmaster and you're running Field Medic. But we, we like to have fun here, so sometimes we do Beastmaster. Beastmaster has its place. It adds another target for the bugs to hit. All right. All right, let's talk about the Hurricane Guided Rocket System. This thing came out super strong at the beginning using this build uh, or something similar to this build. Basically, you were setting them on fire and then you would murder them with your Bulldog Heavy Revolver. Um, yeah, you, you were doing so much damage, it was insane. Um, and they nerfed it to the ground and then they brought it back up. <laughs> a little bit, not to where it was before, but they brought it back up. Um, I kind of want to try the mine layer system. You lose the tracking, which could be fine because I'm not super great at tracking. Uh, it's got less of a skill gap than the lock one, but there still is some skill there with aiming your rockets, it follows your mouse cursor, which follows your, you know, crosshairs and all of that. So just do be aware of that. Uh, I still like the fire and we go for a lot of direct damage uh, for the most part, right? Is this the direct damage build? <laughs> yeah, I believe it is. We break the armor, we do more damage, um, and then the impact damage is increased. And then we took a slightly larger AoE and a bit more AoE damage here. Um, really, I like to use clean overclocks. We might try mine layer at some point just for fun. Um, then we go into the bulldog. I love the neurotoxin coating and I like to take an extra ammo and then the hollow points to do more weak spot damage is always good. And then what do we have here? We have stability so you can shoot them off faster. And we have homebrew powder because we like to have fun, but yeah. But this, the volatile bullets here, what people were doing to uh, do ridiculous amounts of damage to targets that are on fire. So you light them on fire with your rocket and then you blow them up with some volatile bullets. They have nerfed that. I still like homebrew. I like a little bit of that RNG thrown in there. So we're actually gonna, we're gonna play with that a little bit more. Um, for grenades, I don't love any of his grenades, but the sticky grenade, I think I like the most. Yeah. 
Uh, incendiary could be all right to set some enemies on fire and then deal more damage to them, but uh, stick your grenade I've had the most luck with not hurting my teammates, which is always a plus. <laughs> and then we're gonna go to the sleeper hit for me. I saw this sludge pump and I thought that this thing was gonna be hot garbage. As it was the last weapon I picked up. I picked up the lock one, then I picked up the drac, then I picked up the hurricane, then I picked up the sludge pump. And as soon as I started using it, I was like, why did I sleep on the sludge pump? It's so satisfying because the driller, let's, let's get this straight real quick. The driller is about AOE damage, AOE, AOE control. That's what they do. You got your flamethrower for AOE damage. You can build into direct damage with it. You've got your cryo canyon where you can freeze targets and then do big damage with your axes or whatever secondary you're using. And then you got the sludge pump. And I just, I was a cryo main for a long time. I never really liked the flamethrower because the cryo just seems so good to freeze everything. But now I'm a sludge pump main because I love the area denial of the air sensitive compound that makes the goo cover a larger area when you blow it up. And then the atomizer nozzle, which means that your charge shot's gonna leave behind more fragments. Super saturation makes it so all that stuff lasts longer on the ground. Um, spellback extension so that you lose less ammo uh, by doing your charge shots and getting those big area denial. And then I go with the damage over time. Um, it's just, it's so good. It's an, it's an acid, uh, corrosive acid that deals damage to them over time. Um, on top of that, you could, I thought we had them slowed before. I thought, I thought they were slowed. Maybe that was, Maybe that moved. <laughs> Pretty sure that moved because I would slow them and do the acid. Anyways, it was a lot of fun. Uh, I used Disperser Compound because I can make it all bigger. Uh, if I'm not using Disperser Compound trying to cover a large area, then I just do the AG mixture, um, especially if it's like a Mactera Plague. I uh, definitely want that so you can hit those air targets a little bit easier with your single shots. But the... The Disperser compound is just so good. It's my favorite by far. Uh, we pair that up with the Subata. And again, we have homebrew powder powder because I like RNG, I guess. I mean, I play I play a lot of like gotcha mobile games, which have a lot of RNG and it pisses me off. But in this game, it doesn't piss me off for some reason. Uh, if I wasn't using that, I would be doing explosive reload. Explosive reload is great. Um, in fact, I might, I might just leave that there. Micro explosions trigger when you reload. You can do the, you can shoot into the ground and trigger a micro explosion that deals some damage to things. So you could use that to clear out uh, the little swarmers. But usually, if I have swarmers, I just shoot a puddle on the ground and then uh, kite them to be between. Uh, well, kite them so the puddle is between us. And then they just eat the puddle and die. And then I switched from axes to neurotoxin because neurotoxin will slow them. Uh, it can get lit. Neurotoxin and the sludge can get lit on fire. So that's one reason why we don't use the plasma charger right now. Um, because a lot of these things, I'm trying to CC them. I'm trying to slow them down. I'm trying to do the damage over time. As soon as you light them on fire, all that goes away. Well, the damage over time doesn't go away, but everything else goes away. So anyways, that's where we landed. Um, we're also doing Shield Link and Iron Well here. Um, as I do more elite deep dives, I realize how good um, Iron Well is. Speaking of which, I need to go knock out some deep dives. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was just like looking at the stats and looking at the loadouts, but I hope I hope that it was helpful. Um, yeah. The driller, man. 
Like the driller was routinely the last guy that I would level. I would try and keep them all relatively close. Um, but now you can see the gunners falling behind. Engineer, I still just love to play. Scout, I love to play. Um, it, Gunner and Driller used to be tied for like third place, with Driller being a bit behind. And now I think it might be Gunner. The Driller might be my new, one of my new favorites. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please stop back next time, and I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.